Since the dawn of man, scientists have longed to travel through time. In the late 1960s, a crack team of geniuses combined their talents to attempt to break the time barrier. In the Florida Keys, Dr. Woodstock P. Havens was given the task of building a special space shuttle. Yeah, but I decided to make a submarine instead, man. So come on and join me as we float through time. Stay right there. I'll be right down. All right. Three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> uh, dudes, we've been getting ready for our very first Christmas aboard the Love Sub. <laughs> and I know I should be happy, dudes, but I just feel like something's missing, you know? Oh, what's up, handsome? Oh, thanks, dude. <laughs> it's Christmas cookies. Well, that makes me feel a little bit better, but I just wish I had more Christmas spirit, you know? Oh, thanks, dude. <laughs> well, we've been putting up our Christmas decorations. <laughs> oh, and guess what else we got? Yes. Oh, never mind. Okay, we got virtual Christmas cards, the best part of Christmas. <laughs> hey, handsome, you think you can put a couple of those on the screen? All right. Okay, oh, that first one is from Ambassador Nothit to Merry Congo Lushmas. <laughs> and then the next one is, I think, from, yeah, Dr. Samanex. <laughs> Peace on Earth. <laughs> you must be sleeping, dudes. And then the next one is from, oh, that was from my mom, Ophelia. Oh, that's so sweet. Well, that actually kind of makes me kind of homesick. Well, I know it'll make me feel better, though. The best Christmas card ever. The power source. I'll get it out right now. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Wrong side. <laughs> it's over here. <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh, here it is, dudes. This will cheer us all up. Okay. You know what? I'm not the first person to be away from home on Christmas. You know, Joseph and Mary had to go all the way to Bethlehem. You know, you see, the governor said that everyone had to go back to their hometown so, like, they could, like, count, like, all the people. And Joseph's family was from a little town called Bethlehem. Yeah, dudes. All right. And, of course, Mary was going to have a baby. And while they were traveling, the time came for the baby to be born. Now, there was no room at any of the inns, so what happened? Mary had to give Jesus a manger as a bed. So Mary and Joseph were like far away from home, but that didn't stop God from keeping his promise. What was his promise? That he's going to give us a savior, dude. So God wanted the world to hear the good news. And there were shepherds like living in the fields. And the angels showed up and told them where to find Jesus. Then the Bible says a whole company of heavenly hosts appear. And, there, and those dudes were like the army of heaven, dude. So they came to declare God's promise. Now let's search for the promise with our periscopes, dudes. Get them out. All right. Oh. There it is. There's the promise. <laughs> All right, there's the penguin, dudes. All right. <laughs> the whale, dude. What up? <laughs> and there's the island. So it's right there. All right. So they were praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to men on whom his favor rests. Dudes, God wants us to give him all his glory and he gives peace to those on whom his favor rests. Now, do you guys know who that is? Dudes, it's like every man, woman, and child who loves God. Dudes, that's all of us, man. 
Oh, man. So that's what God said when he meant peace on earth. Now, God is pleased with all who believe, and he loves us so much that he sends us peace. And that's what Isaiah meant when he called Jesus the prince of peace. Now, before Jesus was born, the people were separated from God. Now, they had no peace with God because they refused to do God's, things God's way. Now, that's called sin. But Jesus brought peace between believers and God, just as God had promised. Now, that's what the prophets are pointing us to, peace on earth. Now, that peace can only be found in knowing Jesus, our Savior. And when we have peace with God, we have peace with other people too, dudes. Even enemies can get along if they choose to worship Jesus. Now, that's the power of love, dude. That's the power of loving Jesus. Now, that's what really brings glory to God. <laughs> now, when the shepherds heard the good news, they hurried. And they found Mary and Joseph and the baby. And then they spread the word about what the angel had said. Now, we can be just like those shepherds, dudes. We can spread God's word to all of his sheep. Now, let me read what they did. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen. <laughs> you know what? I think that's what I'm going to do. You know, we've been traveling through time a lot. I think it's time for me to go back to my time. <laughs> hey, handsome. I think we're going to tell Uncle Woody to bring us back to our year, 1973. <laughs> I want to go home for Christmas. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell everyone about those groovy prophets and all their far out messages that lead us to the Prince of Peace. And you guys can tell those same stories at your family's home, you know, this Christmas. And I bet you anything, it'll bring your family and friends peace too. <laughs> well, we got to go, little dudes. We love you guys a lot. But remember, no matter where you are in time, say it with me one last time. God is good all the time. Thanks, little dudes. Peace. Merry Christmas, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. See you, dudes. <laughs>